acceleration the rate of change of velocity of a body is known as acceleration this change in velocity can occur in magnitude or direction or both if the velocity is increasing then acceleration will be positive however if the velocity is decreasing the acceleration will be negative the acceleration is also a vector quantity like velocity if a car is moving in a straight line and the driver presses accelerator the velocity of the car will start to increase but its direction will not change now if the driver applies brake the velocity will start to decrease so acceleration will be negative and direction of acceleration will be opposite to the direction of velocity if a body is moving with initial velocity v i and after some time t its velocity becomes v f then change in velocity will occur for time t in this case rate of change of velocity acceleration will be the average acceleration in time t average acceleration is equal change in velocity over time average acceleration is equal vf minus vi over t we can write change in velocity vf minus vi as delta v average acceleration is equal delta v over t as the change in velocity is delta v meter per second and this change has occurred in 1 second so the unit of acceleration is meter per second per second square if the velocity of a body changes equally in equal intervals of time its acceleration is said to be uniform equations of motion there are three important equations which are used to solve the problems about the motion of bodies these equations show the relation between initial velocity final velocity acceleration distance and time these are known as equations of motion it is necessary to mention that in these equations motion will always be taken along a straight line acceleration will be uniform although velocity the acceleration etc are vector quantities but in these equations their magnitude will only be considered initial velocity will be taken as positive other quantities which are in the direction of initial velocity will be taken as positive and in the opposite direction will be taken as negative first equation of motion suppose a car is moving with initial velocity vi and after time t its velocity becomes vf as the car is moving with uniform acceleration therefore its acceleration a will be equal to the average acceleration a is equal change in velocity over total time a is equal final velocity minus initial velocity over total time a is equal vf minus vi over t vf is equal vi plus a at if we know any three quantities in equation we can calculate the fourth quantity second equation of motion a body is moving with initial velocity vi and after a certain time t its velocity becomes vf then in order to calculate the total distance as covered in time t we can make use of the following method distance is equal time into average velocity s is equal average velocity into t average velocity is equal initial velocity plus final velocity over 2 so average velocity is equal vi plus vf over 2 or s is equal vi plus vf into t over 2 now putting the value of vf from equation into the above equation we get s is equal vi plus vi plus at into t over 2 s is equal vi t plus 1 over 2 at square if we know any three quantities out of distance initial velocity acceleration time we can calculate the fourth equation from this equation third equation of motion a body is moving with initial velocity vi and after a certain time t its velocity becomes vf then the distance covered by it is given by s is equal vi plus vf into t over 2 by eliminating t from this equation and the first equation of motion we can derive third equation of motion from first equation of motion vf is equal vi plus at or t is equal vf minus vi over a putting this value of t in the equation we get s is equal vi plus vf over 2 into vf minus vi over a 2 as is equal vf plus vi into vf minus vi 2 as is equal vf square minus vi square this equation is called the third equation of motion